It's been a lean last few years for San Jose, a city trying to recover from blistering budget cuts. Perhaps nowhere have those cuts been felt more than in the city's police department, which has seen rising crime and morale plummet. In tonight's reality check, Sam Brock puts Mayor Reed's claims about both issues, the budget and the police department, under the microscope. Sam. Raj and Jess, good evening. And first, the good news. The city is in the black for the first time in a decade. Now the bad news, Mayor Reed and his fellow lawmakers have actually cut funding to the city's most devastated agency, the aforementioned police department, and they're hoping that you might be able to step in and lend a few dollars. <laughs> Residents of San Jose know the budget crunches of the last half decade have left city services battered and bruised. Yet despite the cutbacks, they've taken solace in knowing that a far reaching tax increase, like say a sales tax hike, has been off the table. Here's Mayor Chuck Reed in his 2012 State of the City address. Once we have our costs under control and are efficiently delivering services, we can consider asking the taxpayers for more, for more money to improve services. But fiscal reforms must come first. Here's the problem. The fiscal reforms the city's achieved so far have almost exclusively come from police pay cuts and a marijuana tax, not from Reed's signature pension reform plan, Measure B, because it's held up in court right now. And city services, according to San Jose's own mid-year report, are not where they should be. With some improvement in the city's fiscal condition, the city has started to stabilize service delivery, although at levels that are far below what we believe is satisfactory for the community. Yet despite not meeting his own criteria for raising taxes, here's Mayor Reed Thursday night. One option is going to the voters to ask for new revenues. And the fiscal reform plan includes the possibility of a tax increase. Mayor Reed has floated the idea of a sales tax and strayed from his guidelines of 2012. Now, to the meat of the matter, what about the struggling police department? In his address this year, Reed said he'll restore an agency that's been crushed by layoffs, defections, and pay cuts, and he asserted the following goal for the next two years. To be more precise, with the savings from pension reform, we can expand the police force by 200 more officers. We can do it, and we will. But here's the reality. The San Jose Police Department has seen its general fund budget shrink by a projected $3.6 million this year, as the city's overall general fund rose by $60 million, according to city documents. Reed promises 37 new positions this year and 200 over the next couple. The contract. James Gonzalez, a detective with the force, says that's mathematically impossible. Yeah, I think it's disingenuous to see, say that we would be adding any police officers. Uh, we're predicting we'll have another uh, 100 officers leave the department, and uh, we know that we won't even be able to fill that with the academies. To be clear, San Jose's police academy has 43 cadets in this year's class and 51 the following year. But we're nowhere uh, in the realm of possibility of uh, fulfilling the numbers that he's talking about. There literally are not enough recruits in the system to be able to meet Mayor Reed's projections and goals. Now, another point that's being swept right under the rug, the department is budgeted for over 1,100 officers. And according to Gonzalez, it's currently staffing fewer than 1,000, making it grossly understaffed, something that we already knew. Now, credit Mayor Reed with restoring libraries and community centers, as he promised he would do, and ending years of city layoffs. But he's reduced funding for the police department and the fire department, for that matter, at the time that he claims to be restoring services. I'm Sam Brock, and that is today's Reality Check. Back to okay, you. Okay, thank you very much, Sam.